I'll be there guys as a mentor Nasdaq Ninja uh, so guys before you can continue please like subscribe and comment on the comment section so guys the important of your liking is when we upload a new video you get updated immediately so guys uh, you might have been surprised why Nasdaq is buying like this so today I'm, I'm gonna talk about Nasdaq only Nasdaq so sometimes we don't know how long will Nasdaq buy because once it arrives to the major resistance it passes right but we do know that this is the right time for the market to buy in order for it to create new highs after breaking the 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 resistance we no longer know where will it stop that is why you see a lot of people start losing because they're trying to sell the market the market keeps on buying so what is the solution to that the only solution i feel like it's in there it's only the, the the shape of the market so i feel like if you were to check here we had a a correction there's a sort of like a correction this is sort of like a correction and then we had a correction again here i can say this is also my correction here because i had an impulse move after so the only thing that i want you to learn from this correction and impulse points we had another correction here this was actually diagonally was like this so what i want you to understand from this correction and impulse is that we know where will the market arrive to right we know from the point of the major resistance we know when we start from our analysis we will know that the market will create new highs so it can be a good point for you to invest so many of you can ask yourself where can i invest into the market probably most of you feel like now is the right time to invest i don't feel like now it's the right time to invest because we already broke the point that i always know that if we can break this point we can never come back so here we're just creating correction and impulse correction and impulse if tomorrow we have another correction we'll create another impulse you understand because there's an impulse move correction impulse correction impulse move so what i want to show you guys is the most secret that i use for nasdaq so this is the incredible secret that allows me to hold into the market so it's simple i'm gonna remove everything we're gonna reanalyze the chart again so remember I start from h4 as always i don't judge people we start from a daily time frame you can start from a daily time frame as well so i'm not gonna actually start with the highest point now i'm gonna back test the, the chart showing you guys how are you gonna see if the market will create a new highs if you can check my previous video they'll tell you that we are going to create new highs already we have already created our new highs so i can't say we created but we are about to no confirmation of mine saying we call, we we created but wherever we add we're on the new highs you understand so like i said the time we're here that the first thing first you were supposed to create here it was a a major uh resistant and then a major support so actually this is your lowest point and your highest point this was your highest point i think yeah this is your highest point so what i want you to see is one thing this thing will keep on repeating even if we can go back to the market from last year the year before last year it will keep on repeating so this is the most important thing for those who want to invest the people which have money they want to invest they don't want to scalp like other traders so it's the right time for you to know where to invest now it's not the right time for you to invest because the market is just buying at the end of the day the market has to create a major trend always this type of like uh, a major correction you understand so what i want you to understand is that the market can never create a new highs without a double bottom you understand like it can never create a new highs without a double bottom 
I've been trading Nasdaq for years. I have learned a lot. Nasdaq can never create a new highs without a double bottom from the major trend. The only way it can break the trend, it, it, it is when it has a double bottom. So apparently here we had a diagonal double bottom here. We had a diagonal double bottom. I'm not talking about the third touch, but what could have given us confirmation that we actually heading to create a new highs. So if you can check at this point, I'm gonna actually use this this thing, and then I'm gonna show you this part and this part. It was our double bottom. So first thing first, I said into the other video. If you see a double bottom, go and look out for your major trend. After checking your major trend, that's when you'll realize that you're gonna create your new highs. Nasdaq been doing that for for apparently all of these years. You understand? So if I can go back now and show you that before we can create new highs, we always have to give you a double bottom. You understand? So now there's nothing that I can analyze here. We at the top, we see, we just say waiting for the confirmation to say we are at the we are at the new highs. Now we're coming back to the bottom for retest. After retest, this this part here is your major support. The only way you can break this support is when you are about to create the major re resistance. But as much as I always tell you, if you break the major resistance it creates a major support for you to break that point it's not easy you understand so my point here the only thing that i want to address is that before you can break the major trend so actually today we're not gonna go to the other time frames we'll be on h4 you guys seeing the major trend and the double bottom and the new highs so now we're gonna go back to the time frame Okay, what I mean is that we're gonna go back to uh we're gonna back test the chart actually. We're gonna back test the chart and see whatever happened currently. Have it ever happened in, in the past? You understand? Okay, I'm busy holding this. I don't know if it's a crime or what, but whatever. So yeah. So we're gonna come to this part here. And then we're gonna create a major trend. I hope and believe you all now start seeing the the, the double bottom there because I don't even have to, to show you. You already see what I'm talking about. So this actually was our previous highest point here, right? But for us to create new highs, we had to do what? We had to create a major trend, then we had a double bottom. So this is the right time for investors to listen carefully and know the right time to invest. Trust me, with 1K, you can even invest as well. And then we're gonna check another time frame. This was our new highs here, because this was our highest point, remember? So we're gonna take, check again, if we had a double bottom from here. This was our major trend at this point. As much as you can see, you already see our double bottom. There's the first bottom and there's the second bottom. So what you can realize here from this, this chart is that the first one touches the market as the third touch in the bottom, but the other one touches the support. You see here, it touched the support. Even here, it touched the support. Even here, it touched the support as well. So even though if you can go further more downwards, you'll still get the same thing. We had a major trend here. We still created our double bottom at the bottom. So this is the most secret of Nasdaq. I feel like if you want to invest into Nasdaq, you can relax, do whatever you're doing if you don't want to scalp. Once you get your major trend with the double bottom and the bottom, then you enter your entry you just invest because after we break our major trend, I feel like our major trend in most cases, it becomes useless because after we break it, we're going to create correction after we continue going up. We created correction here, went up, created correction again, went up. That's when we created our new highs. Even if we were to say this point here was our major trend from the other trend because it didn't create new highs, 
at the end of the day it also created a new double it created a new double bottom here at this position in order for the market to create what new highs so this is how you can trade nasdaq i feel like this is the simplest way to trade nasdaq i know i'm probably on the buy side but if you can check these are the most accurate points to invest to i don't wish or advise anyone to invest into sales because i feel like nasdaq was meant to buy you see it, it always it been buying as well so this is how it is guys this is how it is this is what i actually wanted you guys to know the only way you can know the path to invest is when you have a double bottom on the major trend in the other video i said if you have a double bottom go look out for the major trend i hope you guys understand this and find it beneficiary Thank you.